Hi everyone, um, just before I start this video today, which will be a Blu-ray review of Rain Briggs The Snowman, one of the annual classics that you see every year around the Christmas season, I do want to uh, get a little bit of housekeeping out of the way if you think. Um, I think before we start the review proper, first of all, Please excuse the bad hair, it went kind of crazy before I hit the record button, tried to straighten it out, no avail, whatever I did, so boring stuff out of the way, you don't need to know about that, but apologies for it anyway. Second, because of all the fantastic goings on over the holiday, I know we did a preview video, we did a long list of DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff that we're going to put up. Now, as one of my regular contributors on my channel in the comments, with the brilliant name of Zikokmeister, reminded me just a couple of days ago, um, you guys do not want to be bombarded by Christmas videos in the second week of January. And for reason which, reasons which I don't need to go into, it takes me a while to produce videos. Um, Personally, it's just me, no other help, limited resources, and so in future I won't be previewing what we're putting up, I'll just be letting you know what I'm doing next, possibly at the end of a video, stuff like that. We won't be doing previews because I don't want them to turn into clickbait affairs where people think, oh, he's going to be doing that, and then he doesn't, and it's all a bit of a letdown, and you just think, oh, he clickbaited just to get me to click on the video. No, but that's not the case at all, but just in case those thoughts arise, I won't be doing preview videos in the future, and it will be a case of quantity over quality. Now, I do want to do a video of my favourite Christmas film of all time, before the new year. That will be on Friday. That will be Miracle on 34th Street. I, I've wanted to do that one since last Christmas, to be honest. Uh, it's got so many reasons why that's important to me, and I'll go into that in that video. When you finish watching this video, as you start watching this, rather, um, once it's uploaded, I will be automatically recording another video, and it won't be a review, it'll be a vlog where I just talk to you guys about a few things about why this Christmas in particular has been so special without going too deeply into the reasons and it's made me take stock of a few things including YouTube as I said quality over quantity so that I don't beat myself up about it so I have more enthusiasm and you can you guys can enjoy my content and it will be coming through to you that I'm enjoy enjoying doing it more so with that being said we will hit the intro and then we'll get on to today's review. If I were to meet people that hadn't seen the film The Snowman, uh, even though it's been on our screens for quite a few Christmases now, I would describe it as a beautifully hand-drawn animation very simply drawn, with an incredible musical orchestral score. It's based on a picture book by Raymond Briggs. Uh, in 1992, it got uh, Best Picture Award, um, and no wonder. It's very well known for the song, We're Walking in the Air. Um, sung by Alan Jones when he was a lot younger than he is now um, and it's basically the story of a little boy around Christmas time who builds a snowman in the midst of heavy snow and goes to sleep in all his innocence wakes up just before midnight to discover that his snowman has magically and inexplicably come to life and their adventures that follow. Uh, it starts with a little boy, well, I believe it's called James, 
there's no um, there's no dialogue there's no narration in in the main in the main animation itself and there may be in the extras which I'll touch upon in a minute I haven't actually on the blu-ray version at least seen any of the extras so I can't qualify that yet I only recently um, got it because I really wanted to try and include it in the Christmas playlist this time round and uh, I'm really glad I have um, yeah so there's no there's no dialogue um, there's just the wonderful music and the animation itself which really allows you to be drawn in to what's going on and it starts with James and his snowman actually going into the house and James showing his snowman around and you do think for a fraction of a second this is a snowman going into a modern heated house surely it's not going to be good for his health and after a few minutes of playing with light switches, having a sit down on the sofa turning the TV on, things of that nature the snowman does start to sweat a bit and I'm like as fully boring old adult yeah I'm like yeah great attention to detail good let's go with this so obviously they go back outside and then that's where the famous walking in the air song kicks in as James grabs his friend's snowy hand or paw whichever snowman have perhaps those of you that are expert on such things could tell me in the comments <laughs> I don't know um, but they hold on to each other and magically begin to fly across fields and miles and miles of land and they go further up further up into the sky and next minute James finds himself in the snowman's home world which you'll see on the back of the uh, box you can see an illustration of James with his snowman and all the other snowmen dancing round a bit like Morris dances on a cloud it really is lovely and then after all the fun and games in their world uh, they come back to James's world and he realises that uh, all good things must come to an end and snowman waves goodbye and melts as snow usually would at the end of the story and um, there's a twinkle in James's eyes if he thinks well this has happened once already who's to say it can't happen again and obviously all the wonderful memories as a child that he will hold and that his parents uh, will know nothing of because obviously if he tries to tell them about it they will not believe him for a second but obviously that's again tied in with the magical theme of the film and indeed of this time of year uh, so it's it's really wonderful in that sense uh, blu-ray extras and as I said you can see on the back all the snowmen dancing together with James on the cloud beautiful blu-ray extras we've got snow business documentary story of the snowman featuring new audio narration ah. so with this new version we just answered the question there there is audio narration to go with this story there wasn't originally but you can apply it through the extras so I shall definitely have to give that a view because that might enhance the story even more so that's a tip if you're going to get the blu-ray um, new audio narration by John Coates story storyboards um, basically showing you the animated drawings put together and introductions from the legendary David Bowie and Raymond Briggs himself David Bowie was of course involved on some of the films of other um, projects of Raymond Briggs um, he did a song for one um, called When the Wind Blows which is all to do with 
family trying to survive in the event of nuclear fallout. So, hardly the same magical content as um, Snowman, obviously, but that was quite a memorable film as well. It stayed with me. Um, okay, so those are the extra features. Now, as you know, I do like to mention the certificates um, for viewing purely as a as a service to families, especially those that have young children. Now, um, with this particular release, Snowman, the original film itself, is rated as a U. Anyone can watch it and enjoy it and be enchanted by it. That's fine. Um, with the extra features, some of the content on the extra features, as I said, I can't quite clarify which. Um, it could be within the audio narration, could be in any of the others, we're not sure. But obviously the people that classify films, uh, they felt that because of some of the content within the extras, they needed to raise the rating of the overall release. So, although the main film is a U rating, the overall release was raised up to PG. So, contains material likely to offend or harm. That would probably only really apply to younger members of the audience. So, that's why they say with PG parents um, guidance and don't let the little ones watch on their own just to be safe but it applies more to the special features than obviously the main feature which is absolutely fantastic and is enjoyed by everyone so overall I think it's a fantastic film does the blu-ray enhance well obviously there's extra audio um, which I'm really looking forward to checking out now together with the original film to see how that changes it and I must admit the musical score that I've mentioned already um, through the HD sound remastering it sounds even better and even the hand drawn animation does look better it does look crisper and smoother um, but obviously 1080p and HD enhances everything anyway this is the first Blu-ray that I've done for the channel. I really love it. It's something that I can understand why it's one of those films that a lot of people love to watch every year. If you get the chance to get the Blu-ray over the DVD, if you're able to, do. And uh, yeah, I hope that if you are those people that haven't seen The Snowman yet, and you've watched it for the first time this year, or you're going to if you got it over Christmas yesterday, I really hope you enjoy it, I think you will. And uh, yeah, that's my review for The Snowman. It's the 30th anniversary release, by the way. And uh, yeah, that's my review for the Blu-ray version of The Snowman. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll be looking forward to any comments, uh, etc. that you leave below. Um, as I said, I'll now be making just a more of a chatty video about my thoughts the last few days why as I say this holiday has been special and uh, I hope you come back and join me for that because I think maybe I'll say a few things that you might feel ring true for you as well anyway I'll see you in the next video and take care everyone